Hello friends, here we will start with the new chapter all together and the concept is Feedback Amplifier. Okay, as far as amplifier is concerned, we know that the amplifier is nothing but if I'm providing small input, then I'm increasing the strength of the input at the output side of an amplifier box, right? So as far as amplifier box is concerned, that is not black box for me, okay? So let's understand the fact that amplifier. This is the box of amplifier. Let it be whether it is of CSCS multi-stage amplifier, single stage amplifier, three stage amplifier, it doesn't matter for me right so this is your input signal that input signal may be in the form of current right or voltage okay so i'm saying that this is i i and this is v i input current or input voltage and here we will be getting the output voltage or output current right and here whatever circuit is giving that is nothing but the gain of an amplifier and that is represented with the letter a as far as this particular box is concerned that is not new to me right and now we have to learn that what is feedback and how it affects your amplifier operation and why we need that feedback amplifier okay so let us consider the feedback invention is done 1928 right so invention of is done by Harold Black. And in the year of 1928, that is not important, important part as far as exam point of view. This is just you have to remember for extra knowledge, right? And then we will learn what is exactly feedback and now how it affects the amplifier operation. Let's start with this fact that this is, let's say, feedback amplifier under the heading of concept of feedback amplifier so before learning the feedback you should know that whether we have uh, some part of system let's say for example uh, i'm considering one particular black box just now we have studied that i'm giving the input and i'm getting the output that's it right i'm not giving i'm not utilizing that particular output to give that particular same signal at the input side to check that whether output is really the part of uh, input or not, right? So that is carried out by using feedback, right? So that feedback is of two types, okay? So we'll draw that particular feedback uh, block diagram and then we'll get to know that how that feedback is important as far as amplifier is concerned. Here you have two diagrams in front of you. This simple box that we already have learned, that is nothing but a simple amplifier, right? That box is nothing but simple amplifier where I'm giving, so let's suppose I'm having input voltage and I'm having at the output side output voltage. And this is called as open loop configuration. This is called as open loop configuration, right? Whenever I'm using, another block diagram where this is the same amplifier that is forward amplifier. So in this particular box, A is nothing but the forward gain amplifier and whatever this box is called as feedback amplifier. This is called as a feedback circuit and let's say I'm saying this as input signal, let's say I'm saying that it's VS, right, source signal and this is your output signal let's say vo right whatever output vo output voltage i'm feeding back to your input side to check that whether the output is a part of input signal or not whether there is a distortion or not so this is carried out by using the feedback amplifier so that is represented by the letter b okay so there can be output voltage or output current there can be input so input current or input voltage right so there are different possibilities can be carried out by using that we have different topologies that we have to learn in the next videos 
So let us discuss, let us concentrate on this particular part. This is a closed loop configuration. This is because whenever I'm starting with Vs, I'm reaching towards Vo and that Vo is again fed back to input side, right? So that forms a loop. So that's why this is called as closed loop configuration. Okay, now important fact is this feedback amplifier can be here I'm saying this is nothing but your mixer. This is nothing but mixer where I'm adding this VS that is source signal to your feedback signal or subtracting that source signal with your feedback signal. So if I'm subtracting the VS with VF, this is VF I'm saying. Right. If I'm subtracting that VF with VS, then I'm saying that it is called as negative feedback. Right. So that's why. Right. If I'm saying that this VF is getting added with VS, then I will say that it's nothing but a positive feedback. So here itself we get to know that there are two categories of feedback. One is negative feedback and one is positive feedback. So here in this particular case whether it is negative or positive there can be used in different applications. So whenever I'm using the negative feedback, negative feedback is basically used in amplifier. Okay. This positive feedback is used in basically oscillators or signal generators. So as far as this feedback is concerned, so uh, in your laboratories, there are function generators where we get uh, the sinusoidal signals, your triangular signals, your uh, um, sawtooth wave, m n number of ways we can get from the function generator. And this function generator is an example of positive feedback, right? That we'll learn, that we'll discuss in detail in the next chapter itself, in detail. So as far as feedback is concerned, we learn that this is positive feedback when I'm getting, when I'm adding the source signal with your feedback signal. I'm saying it is negative feedback if I'm saying Vs is getting subtracted with Vf, right? And whatever signal I'm getting over here, that is called as error signal, right? So if Vs is not actually equal or equal to or scaled with Vo, then I can say that the error signal will get generated and depending on error signal, I will design my amplifier such that to get the proper correct output at the output side. So that is the basic aim of the feedback amplifier. Now we will learn the mathematical point of view of the negative feedback and positive feedback as well, generalized form. Let's understand that I'm taking this example of taking input as voltage and output as voltage only. So it forms an, a voltage amplifier where we'll be getting the gain in the form of ratio of output voltage to the input voltage. So let us discuss that. I know that for open loop configuration. For open loop configuration means I'm not providing any feedback. So if I'm not providing any feedback, what will be the gain? of my complete circuit as an amplifier. So for open loop configuration, this B will not come into picture. Then in that case, I can say that VI is same as that of VS. And I can say that VO divided by VS is equal to VO divided by VI is equal to voltage gain. And that is nothing but A, right? So I will say that voltage gain I will treat this as with a letter A. A is nothing but VO upon VI is equal to VO upon VS. I will treat that equation number one. Okay. Now, hold on. For closed loop configuration, that means with feedback. For closed loop configuration. Right. For closed loop configuration, I'm writing in bracket with feedback. If I'm providing feedback, then, then we'll have to do some mathematical operation in this case. See to it that I'm learning the negative feedback in that case. This is, this should be negative, right? 
this is positive. So whatever V I am getting that is in the form of V S plus V F V F V S minus V F right. So first equation I will be getting in the form of V S V F and V I right. So I will write it over here the voltage gain that I will be getting that I will treat it as A F voltage gain that I will treat it as A F and that is equal to V O divided by V S ok. Let us treat it as equation number 2 ok. Fine. So, let us start with the mathematical operation right. So, from block diagram As far as block diagram is concerned, I know that whatever VO VI ratio is nothing but A, whatever VO VF ratio is nothing but B. So, I can say that A is equal to VO divided by VI. Okay. Let's treat it as equation number 3. I know that B is equal to VF, that is nothing but the output for B, and VO is nothing but the input for B. So, VF divided by VO is nothing but B. So, we will treat it as Vf divided by Vo equation number 4. Again, one mathematical expression we will get from this particular mixer is nothing but Vs minus Vf is equal to Vi. Okay. Now, what we will have to do? We will put the value of Vf and Vi. This is because I want Vs in your voltage again ka formula. Right. I don't want Vf and Vi, but I can find out what is Vf in the form of Vo and V. I can find out what is the value of Vi in the form of Vo and A again, so that I will get complete expression in the form of Vo and Vs only, right? So, we will treat this as from equation 3 and 4, we will be getting Vs I will keep as it is minus what is Vf? Vf is nothing but B into Vo. Okay. Simple. What is Vi? Vi is nothing but Vo divided by A. So, here it will be Vo divided by A. Right. Just do the mathematical uh, manipulation here and there, left to right, right to left, keep uh, Vo at Vo by Vs at the left hand side and rest part on the right hand side. So, I will be getting Vo divided by Vs that is equal to A divided by 1 plus AB. Okay. So, as far as this is, this is nothing but your AF. Okay. So, this is your last mathematical expression that we are expecting for your negative feedback operation for gain perspective. Okay. I can conclude that from this particular operation, this from this particular mathematical expression, I can conclude that whatever negative feedback I am providing that will result in the reduction of gain. Okay. So, Here the statement is negative feedback leads to reduce the gain of an amplifier. So, so far what we have whatever we have discussed is about the feedback amplifier. But one question is remained in our mind that why we are using that negative feedback amplifier? Why we are using the feedback if the voltage gain is reduced, right? So, that we will learn in the next video. Here we will stop for this particular video. We will learn the why we are using the feedback for the open loop and closed loop configuration basically for working as an amplifier okay so stay tuned for that learn more and more edc along with me along with ekda videos if you have any doubt you can write the comment after your videos and subscribe your videos thank you so much